Breaking the Wall of Science Communication. Kate Breadbanner, Rockefeller University, USA. Hello everyone, I'm Kate Breadbanner and I'm a scientist from New York and I would like to start with a question. How do you hear about the newest scientific information? And I'm not talking about the few big news stories a year, I'm talking about the small but significant research on things like rare cancers or honeybees. The answer is that you probably don't hear about it. There are three scientific papers published every minute. From the time that we started at 9 a.m. this morning, that's 153 new papers. And unless you have the time to read them all, the scientific training to understand them, and the money to purchase subscriptions to the journals that they're in, you're never going to hear about them. There is a wall between research and non-scientists. And that's kind of unacceptable, right? Because the science we do is supposed to be for everyone. But how do we break down this wall? We can't turn everyone into a scientist, and we can't make the news report on every new paper that comes out. But we can use a platform that already exists that is perfect for showcasing research. YouTube. There are over 1.5 billion active users on YouTube, which is about four times the population of the United States. And about 50% of those users are between the ages of 25 and 44. People that age make up the majority of the workforce. They shape the world as we know it. And for them, science is a choice. So why don't we make it an easy choice? I've already started making science more accessible with my own channel called Simple Biologist. I cover one new scientific paper every other week, and I condense those papers into fun and fact-filled three to five minute videos. And I chose to focus on biology, not only because I am a biologist, but because I think that biology research is immediately relevant and helpful to people all around the world. So I've gotten pretty good at reading papers and making videos, but there's still one thing that I really need right now, and it's you. Every new view and new subscriber is another data point to convince scientific journals that presenting research to people outside the scientific community is not only necessary, but desired. With enough support, I hope to one day run a team that partners with scientific journals to make more research accessible than ever before. So, please, watch, share, and subscribe, because we need a way to break down the wall of science communication. And I've already started chipping away. Thank you.